missing or missing soundtrack. Uh, today, in my other game, uh, the boys reached the uh, uh, Dwarven settlement on uh, on the Iron Shell Islands, and I swear I almost grabbed that uh, Dwarven metal song. You know, diggy diggy ho, diggy ho, yeah. I almost grabbed that song to use a soundtrack, but normally uh, I don't really like uh, songs with uh, lyrics because it takes yeah, yeah. too much attention. But yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here's the soundtrack. Let's see if is everything <laughs> all right with the live stream. And uh, who wants to give us the recap? Shall we roll for it? Shall we decide amongst ourselves? You guys, tell me, I please. I think Bibic wanted to do it. Yeah, sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last session, the party had just finished. Fighting a vampire, I believe. I wasn't there for that. Um, in a room full of 15 unconscious bodies, they encountered Bibic, the, the newest member of the party, the dwarf, uh, and Mayor Percival. And after a, a brief, a brief but long discussion about uh, what's going on and, and trying to intimidate each other back and forth, we knocked Mayor Percival unconscious, in, impersonated him, kidnapped him, rescued a couple people uh we also encountered his creepy son who has a magic necklace um we took them all back to the to the guild hall we were able to revive some of the some uh, one of the unconscious people and uh we found a note <laughs> on mayor percival's body discussing about how he had made a deal with the sahawagan to uh the rights to use the underwater mines to mine mithril to try to bring wealth back to Mithril Harbor, but in exchange for um, essentially sacrifices, but live. Live sacrifices. Uh, I think that the note specifically said that it was for like a, like a almost like a cultural exchange, which is, uh, could have been a straight up lie, or maybe they were gonna, I don't know, replace replace people with fish people who knows uh, and then we sprinted off to the docks um to try to intercept the 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 handoff because we figured all those bodies would be brought to the docks probably in some sort of carriage and from there we could figure out what's going on rescue all the people and stop the sahawagan excellent so bibic you uh successfully uh recapped everything that had tr that happened and you receive the DM inspiration, which you can use only during this session, okay? It's a D10 that you can choose to add or subtract from any D20 row in the table. So you can add to yours or to one of your allies, or you can subtract from one of the monsters you will be facing. Okay? That's good. <clears throat> yep. That being said, you had... Uh, some troubles you have to to discuss with uh, Lady Alara specifically, but also with many others that were aware of everything that was happening during that uh, festivity. That supposed uh, it was supposed to be a happy and merryful evening in Mitru Harbor, but it seems that this is not a place where joy gets to last for too long. Instead, you were uh, greeted by this foul deal being uh, being um, masterminded by the, the very uh, mayor of the city. As you start to venture towards the, the docks of the city, Suddenly, the city starts to feel more calm, more silent. You don't see as many people on the streets, and the ones that are there, they don't talk to one another. They don't uh, make much noises. They are just wandering about. The eerie sensation 
becomes more real and more concrete when you... <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, Cedric, you, f uh, you can see from afar that it is it is a uh, late evening okay so let's say mm -hmm. it's it's midnight right now okay uh, the the party started around nine and so much has transpired by this point that it's midnight a little a little past midnight some minutes after uh, and you you notice that the the the, the docks uh, since you ha are having uh, a better view from the rooftops, you can see that the docks are uh, noticeably foggy by this point. Mm. <coughs> okay. My kind of town. Mm. Yep. Is it normal fog, or are we talking about like arcane fog? There is no way you could tell from this distance. You will have to to come nearer to to find out. And as you do just that, unless you want to interrupt me and say that you are doing something else, but I imagine you are going directly to the docks. Yes. There is no people there. You don't see the workers that you know that the docks never uh, never rests uh, they there is always people uh, working there on different shifts but at this point you can only see uh, ships uh, uh, an anchored and no sign of life anywhere no sign of life to be to be seen, to be talked of, and as you will be able to see right now here on the map that I'm going to show you right now, the docks are extremely foggy, and this is, you don't know be if it is because of, uh, it is night time right now, or maybe some, t some other reason, but the, the fog, even though there, uh, it feels like fog, it's dense and dark, Resem the appearance is that of smoke, but it behaves like fog, okay? Drink. You can position yourselves uh, around this part here, at the bottom of the map, <coughs> and that is it, you feel a little cold, but not too much. Uh, just enough that you expect it from being that close to the to the sea. <coughs> I'm sorry. And everyone's vision is uh, is uh, obscured by the amount of fog. So even though you normally would have dark vision or other resources. It's a physical obstacle that don't allow you to have the full sight. My question Even with is, devil's sight? Yeah, because it's it's something physical. It's it's not uh, absence of light, like darkness. It is a cloud of mist that... Um, that's uh, yeah. camouflaging that's the, the surroundings. That's fine. <laughs> uh, so how far in front of us can we see? Like 15 feet or something? Yeah, you can see everything on the map. Uh, so you kn uh, you can see mostly the the road. Okay. Right. And uh, uh, most of these uh, parts that are hidden are houses or... or uh, buildings and right. some of those like this one is it's like a house but it's uh, built off of a ship oh I see uh, and these are the parts you cannot see uh, through so Cedric you have to step away from this 
a place where oh, you are. Oh, it's not a roof? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it is a roof. You you want to be on the roof, right? Yeah, that's where I thought I was. Okay, uh, it's because, as you will see, uh, on the map, uh, there, is, uh, there is no drawing of the roof, but it's at the interior of this house. So okay, why. yeah, so I would like to be on the roof if that's possible. Okay, okay, so you're on the roof. Okay, that being said, there are no life around you. Uh, yet, you have the, the, not the information, but the, the feeling, the, the insight that if the, the original plan was to send all those noble men and women to the Sahuagi, they probably would have to need to use the docks to do so. So, uh, the, uh, as far as you know, the party is still happening. So you don't know if you want to, you have to. I'm <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. <coughs> yeah, my recuperation is not going as intended. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if you want to sit and and wait to see if anyone shows up, or if you want to explore what's behind all this mist, but that's on <laughs> you to decide. Um, I'm always good for explorations. Yeah. Um, I'd come to the edge and kind of whisper to them, it's like, it's eerily quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> What's up with all this weird smoke? Unknown. But we should definitely take a closer look. Don't Can I anything. use prestidigitation to kind of push the fog back? Mm, let me read prestidigitation, but I don't think so. Prestidigitation. Eh, it was worth a try. Mm, musical note, odd order, shower of sparks, light or snuff out a candle. Mm, chew warmer flavor. Mm, yeah, I don't think you can do anything. You you can try to <clears throat> to clear up a, a, a tiny space, but you would have to use uh, m more of one casting of the of the cantrip. And as soon as you finish one casting, the there is not enough power on it to to keep the fog away. So as soon as you start the second casting, your first the the fog on the first is quickly uh, regrouping, re reclosing. Yeah, kind of need gust of wind for that. <clears throat> um, I just realized I don't have any spell slots, so I'm gonna not do a lot. Oh, Didn't no. we have a short rest while we were at the guild? Yeah, I don't get, get them back slots. on short rests. I used oh. a lot of these guys' selves. <coughs> Is this door next to me open? Mm -hmm. This one? It looks so. Okay. I'm gonna wander into the smoke. Okay. And have a look around in here. Okay. As soon as you I... wander inside, uh, let me show you more of the... Ooh, of... the fog has... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the fog is still there, but since you are inside, you can uh, you are closer to the object. So uh, whenever you yeah, yeah. you are in, in distance of, of on, on reach, you can see with more clear sight. Uh, uh, yes, you see that there, this is some sort of warehouse. Nothing to too special to write home about. Can I go check out the building to the there... north? Just to the north of us? <laughs> Is there any there's but there doesn't seem appear to be anything that could be causing this this smoke or this fog mm -hmm. in here? Okay. Not within but the it's... building. You can try uh, and roll a you can try a, a nature or a arcana check. Remember you, you asked me if the, the fog was magical in nature. This is since you are on the docks right now, you can all try, uh, 
One of you can try an Arcana check. Okay. Can we try to get a uh, advantage? Oh, I don't know. Uh, anyone else has um, a proficiency in Arcana? Unfortunately, yeah, I think not. Cedric. Oh, you don't? I don't have proficiency. I'm just. I got You're a plus three. Real smart. Yeah, I'm just really smart. I don't have proficiency though. Mivik, you don't happen to be uh, super into Arcana by any chance, are you? No. <laughs> what about Drevin? Don't look at me. Just I can make things happen. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I have a plus three, but yeah, I'm not proficient That's okay. in it. <clears throat> well, we got a 15, so let's see what that does us. Uh, <clears throat> you, yeah, you you think that the way that this fog is behaving is certainly not no natural. Mm-hmm. Someone or something probably is conjuring up this this fog but with only a 15 you cannot know if it is uh, something that's happening involuntarily or if someone is actively casting this there are still uh, mysteries around the, the the origin what does the the smoke smell like doesn't have a particularly noticeable smell. It's, it, it's ki- it kind of smells like brine, like the mm. salt water. Mm. Okay, Drevin doesn't like the smell of salt water, so I'm gonna cast precipitation, make it smell a little better around. <laughs> okay, you can do that. <laughs> I'm gonna come out of the home. And kind of tell everybody, yeah, what I've figured out that it uh, feels magical, but can't really tell what's causing it. When do the fishmen get be here? Origin? They might already be here. They might be the ones causing this magical mist. Maybe grabs his axe. <clears throat> I hop down off the roof um, carefully so I don't hurt myself, and then. <laughs> tap Bjorn on the shoulders like here drink this maybe it'll help and hand you a chewel blood vial I thought I had the chewel blood vials no I do oh okay I'll drink that can we tell like maybe the origin of the fog like what at least what direction it's coming from mm-hmm. like is it coming from the sea or is it coming from the city yeah with this I kind of check you cannot tell uh, do you want to Try a nature check, or do you want to wait to see if we, if we so, the the, the dro- drugs uh, the chew's blood you you'll mm. be able to tell. Uh, I think the chew blood is the plan right now because he detect magic and see auras and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. We'll just we'll chew blood it, but I'll do a nature check, I guess, to see mm-hmm. if I can see anything naturey. Another eight. God damn. All right, twelve. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you're drinking the the detect magic potion, right? Yes. Okay. I uh, am. You know. Uh, yeah. Your twelve nature uh doesn't reveal anything else that than you yeah. already have not known, but your detect magic. Yeah. By enhancing your your sense of sight and being able to see what the the naked eye cannot see, you are able to tell Bjorn that there is indeed a living creature, not a human, but uh, something with consciousness and intention, conjuring up this mist. It is not the fog cloud spell but it is a conjuration aura so you you know it has to be a spellcaster uh, right you don't know if it is uh, let me just read the text magic real quick you don't know if it's arcane or or divine right no you, you just know the school. You, yeah, the school you know the school and you see the aura yeah so you see uh, an aura of conjuration mm-hmm uh-huh. 
that it it uh, it has to come from a spellcaster. There is no way that it's a magical phenomena or anything like that. Okay. But I don't see anything like no things. Mm -hmm. No aura of an actual creature is. No. Just, I don't see that, right? Um, well, there's something here creating this mist. It has been conjured magically, which means that the caster must be around here somewhere. Then we should search for it promptly. Pulling out my blade. I will go back up to the roof and ready my bow. Signal with some kind of light if you spot the creature. <clears throat> okay. And I will climb back up to the roof. You should give somebody your tooth, maybe. Oh, well, you wouldn't be able to... You wouldn't I can be talk able to... to you. I have message, so I can talk to you. Okay, fine. I will give you a strand of my hair. <laughs> well, you don't need to give it to me because I have message. Because you can talk to me with message, so you should oh, give it to somebody okay. else. Um, I will mage hand down a strand of my hair to Driven. I'm just like here, so I can talk to you without yelling across <laughs> the court's yard. What does Bibik get? <laughs> One strand of hair. That's it. That's all I've got. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Bibik is a, has donned a helm, uh, by the way. He puts it on. It's it's like a... I'll, I'll post a picture, but it definitely seems a little too big on his head. It keeps slipping and sliding a little bit. Nice. <laughs> okay, do I have to have the hair, like, in my hand or something like that? or Just have it on your person, yeah. You would know from the last time I gave you a piece of okay, I gotcha. body. <laughs> okay, let's not make it creepy. Yeah. It's already creepy. You're lucky I'm not handing you a tooth or a fingernail. I'm gonna head up this way and go check out that boathouse. Okay. I'll follow the yarn. And I'll walk will, the other way. All right. I will head this way along the roof. Okay. Um. <laughs> I would like to run and jump to the next roof. Okay. This uh, where you landed, Cedric, is uh, it, it is not a normal beauty. Is it is built out of uh, a ship, so the roof is just the the upper part of the ship while the the interior it is probably what is being used you don't know if this is a actually you you would have known uh yeah let's say uh you you have the information that this is a famous uh tap house of oh. the docks the docks okay. tavern of course okay exactly where we want to be on Where's the door on this bitch? Is it around the other side? It's on the other side. <coughs> and to the other side. So there's no roof, it's just the top of the deck. Yeah. Yeah, you're okay, on the top so... deck. You're on the poop deck. Um, do I see anything? Because I assume I'm in the fog? Or is the fog inside the ship? Yeah, there is fog on the top, but there is also fog inside of the ship. Uh, okay. From there, you don't see anything different. Even though you are in a in a higher ground, you don't see any movement. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Alright. Um. Yeah, Bibik, are you going to to catch up with the rest, or you're going to stay behind? Uh, I think I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna come and I'll investigate some of these houses. Okay. Uh, so please, I want the four of you to roll a d20 for me. Oh, good. Just a straight d20? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Wasted my 20. Nice. Take that. Yeah. Uh, Bjorn... 3, 4, 5. <laughs> Bjorn is, yeah. is so... 
Good, you're having a great time, Bjorn. You're just I enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but for the rest of you, for the first time, uh, you feel as if something... You have already the feeling that something seems off. But just because this place shouldn't be as empty as it is right now. And where, who is conjuring up this fog? So it's just some trick questions, but nothing too, too yeah. drastic for you to start to become scared or, or, or suspect of anything. But at this point, the three of you, everyone but Bjorn, you all start to feel that there is some foul power at work here. Let me tell you what happened in a moment. I'll have to roll for it. Yes, we're using a very good table here. Uh, <laughs> I didn't like that laugh. Uh, yeah, I, I really wish it was something more uh, eminent, more on the now. But what I can say is this: you are inside of a dangerous place. You are under some dreadful power. You don't feel safe at all at, in this place, even though you don't see any imminent dangers. You start to feel... Uh, you start to lose breath more quickly than you normally would. You start to feel as if each m uh, movement, each step is a little more tiresome than it normally would. You start to feel as if this place is draining you out of your stamina. Mm. But that being said, you see the entrance to the tap house. That's where you want to go? <laughs> well, uh, actually, Bibik is, is already someplace else, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Bibik. Uh, you see what looks like more of a office than anything else. You see a table, some documents, but... Uh, even though the it's it's easier to see uh, from the inside, you cannot read the documents because of the fog. Even if you take them to, uh, directly to your face. That's fair. Is there um? Hmm. Is there a lamp around, like a, an oil lamp or anything of the like? Uh. Roll a d4 for us. One. Oh, <laughs> <coughs> uh, you search for a for a lamp, but you don't find one. Instead, you only seem to find a a a flask of a dense liquid. It seems to be oil for a. For a hooded lantern or something like that, that would require oil to burn, but you're not really sure on this uh, on this uh, ambience of low light. I'll, I'll smell check it to make sure that's what it is, and then I'll, I'll tuck it away in my pocket. Okay, it doesn't s smell like oil. It doesn't. It doesn't, and you wouldn't possibly know what it is without some. Prof specific proficiencies. Uh, do I'll you just have taste a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any uh, two proficiencies? Uh, I mason and carpentry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to take a, a sip out of it? Yeah, I'll take a little taste. Remember when I said that you were feeling out of breath while in the fog? Yeah. Mm. All of a sudden, yes. you you feel. Uh, with that one sip, you feel immediately refreshed, almost as if you just had a, 
took a heavy breathing and your lungs are filled with fresh air. Oh, nice. I'll tuck that in my pocket and I'll, I'll go out to meet the rest of the crew. But Bjorn was doing a thing. <laughs> uh, I was just going to ask if I can see any auras like through the walls because I'm pretty sure I can see through like wooden walls with detect magic. You don't see anything. The, other than the, the, the aura of the mist, you don't see anything else. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I will head inside. Okay. Let me reset the fog on here. And... Uh, you wish to enter uh, let me take both of them because it's the same building uh, Bjorn uh, do you think by the time you spent here at Mitru Harbor do you think uh, you would have visited this place before um <laughs> I don't know did we go to the we went to a pub here in Mithra Harbor, right? Yeah, but uh, <laughs> neither you yourself as your character. Yeah, n never. Uh, you never. You've yeah. never been here here in game. I'm asking if you think okay. Bjorn yeah. off game would have. No, I mean no. If I if I was routinely going to another pub, then I probably would have just kept going there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, even though this is a more of the uh, one would say the lower ends of society that would visit and dwell in a place like this this is a very cheap tavern okay but right. even so you think it is too messed up for what it's supposed to be you think the everything is so uh uh, uh, the contrary of well kept <laughs> bad kept <laughs> everything is so um, um, moisty and, uh, and so near degradation that you don't think even people that don't have too, too much gold would want to to visit a place like this to, to have a good time you know Hmm. But it doesn't. It's not like destroyed, right? Like there wasn't. It doesn't look like somebody fought in here. It's just kind of like gross. Yeah. Gross. Exactly. Well, I'm gonna check behind this gross bar and see if they got any booze. I investigate for booze behind this bar. Okay, you don't need us to roll. <laughs> you, it's the <laughs> obvious thing to find there. <laughs> so you do find booze. <laughs> <laughs> well, Driven, this is a shithole, but at least it's got some, some liquor. I'm gonna throw, a, I don't know, whatever bottle of moonshine they have in there in my bag. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to take a sip out of it? Not right now. Okay, damn it. I'll offer one to Driven though. Hey, want some? I ain't drinking nothing in a spooky place. <laughs> there. And I, yeah, I'll put it in my bag for later. I would like to light my hooded lantern. Um Okay, you you light your your lantern uh from the inside of, or from the roof 
steel side roof. I'm from I'm on the roof okay. and I'm going to jump down after lighting it and I'm going to explore some of these other buildings because nothing's happening on the okay. roof. So <coughs> Yeah, can I investigate this place a bit to see if people left in a hurry or like what's going on with the people being gone before I fuck off out of here? Uh yeah, make an investigation check. I don't know if this is the one you're... Ooh, that's nice. a good one. Okay. Uh, there are no signs of people living in a hurry. Uh, the place is not like uh, too well organized. There are some things out of place. But there is no... No... Um, um, tabled... Uh, flipping over nothing indicates yeah, yeah. that people left in a hurry or just like food like left on the tables or anything like that like people just got up and left full plates there or anything no, uh, yeah there are no full plates but there are some like uh there are some remains but, but uh, fewer things okay. well, yeah. this place seems like a normal shitty tavern <coughs> let's go check and, out some uh, of the other spots Oh, can Drevin use his survival maybe to pick up uh, footprints or anything? Mm, yes, yes. Uh, you can certainly try that. You can roll survival. Hey, there's a nice roll finally. Nice. Yeah. Drevin, there are many footprints. You, you could choose uh, of a bunch of options to, 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 to track. People tend to leave a wetty footprint here in the docks. So you see a lot of uh, normal shoes that walked in, in there. But now that you are searching for something specific, you also notice the footprints of a creature with uh, marine-like limbs, like uh, like its foot, uh, it's something. Um, it it resembles a, a a fish fin instead of a normal human feet. Okay, so I get on the hair and say, "Hey, I think I've got something. I've got some sort of uh, aquatic." Creature footprint that I found. Oh, he, he, you can't talk to him. He can only talk to you. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, I say, hey, Bjorn, I got, I got footprint here that does not belong to a human. Are they the fish creatures? The Sahaugen or whatever? I don't know what yeah, a Sahaugen footprint is. Yeah, I don't know what that would look like. Where, let's see where they go. Here, and I'll, I'll use message and I'll tell um, Bibic and and uh, Cedric that we found some fish footprints. Can we talk back when you message? Yes. <laughs> okay. Bibic was excited and then he was scared, but now Bibic's excited again. <laughs> the way, Cedric. Um, no, I mean, Drevin. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't in that yeah. conversation. <laughs> um, I was like, I wanted to light my hooded lantern, mm -hmm. which gives me a 30 bright foot radius and then additional 30 feet. <laughs> and um, I'm going to use one of my oil flasks to light it, of course. And I'd like to explore the building in front of me to the north. Oh, okay. Let me hide this one again. Okay, I'll go ahead and approach it. And I draw a short sword as well as I hold the lantern in my mm -hmm. offhand. Kick open the door. Okay, you open it. Sure. The the door creaks. 
and it reveals an empty house as many of the others you, you have seen so far. I would like to do a perception check and then also check for footprints as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can uh, you can choose between perception and survival for this one. Ooh, nice. Cool. Okay. You see, uh, you did receive the message of the 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 film like. Footprints? Did you? No, because he said that to Bjorn. To Bjorn, okay. What? Yeah, but I, sent, I said I sent a message to both you and... and okay, so then yes, I said that. Okay, so now that you uh, uh, know that there is something similar, you search for the same footprints and you find them. The same fish-like feet. Okay. I'd say to Drevin, because he's the one with my hair follicle, I found some in this building in the north as well. Fish-like footprints. Okay, I relay that message to Bjorn as well. Well, we should follow them. Let's see where they go. I would imagine they all go to the same spot. I would okay, like yeah. to see, and if I would also like to investigate this back room and see if there's anything in there. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> as you uh, explore it, you can roll a d4. Ooh, shit. Oh, maybe. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Well, do that. Uh, you find. What? that this place probably uh, belonged to someone who uh, it, 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 it's, it, it, it is not a fancy building okay but judging by the the, the the content on the interior the furniture the overall uh, layout of this this one house you Fr from the get-go, you, you notice it belonged to someone with more acquisitive power. As you start to search, you don't find any gold, you don't find anything um, v of value. But now that you are taking a, a closer inspection, you see that one of the floorboards has a, a, a fake floorboard. <laughs> and as you open it, it reveals a uh, tiny chest closed. Uh, probably okay. so anyone, uh, someone that lived there had a special place to hide their valuables. Okay. Um, I would take the chest and place it in like this corner up here. And then I back away from it and use my mage hand and thieves tools to make the lock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very very suspicious okay <coughs> you don't need to roll for that um, you easily manage to open the, the lock and inside there is a uh, silver uh, circlet okay. it does have I'd... a magical aura I would bring my mage hand to me and Put that in my my sack. Kind of study it. Does it like a bracelet size, or is it like a necklace or a crown no, it, sort of thing? It's a like a diadem, like something you like a that uh, type of crown that is just uh, on on your forehead. You know, something you okay. have to put on your head. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it's a tiara. Yeah, Tiara. I found <laughs> I found a circlet with um, magical properties, though I don't know what it does. I'd say to Drevin. It's hidden in a chest underneath a fake floorboard. You're just to the north of us. Is the um, yeah. footprints headed that way towards the building he's in? Mm. 
yes, you can try and 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 trace a logical path on the with the footprints, <clears throat> but you you can tell if he went on one building before he went to to the other. But uh, whatever it is, if it, it or if you, you cannot yet tell if it is more than one creature. I would also like to try and figure out the direction the footprints go. Okay. Following them from within the house to the outside, it reveals that uh, there is only one uh, path that this creature took. It went from the, the sea to the house and then back to the sea again. Like some, he did this route here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would. Shine. Anybody got I would come. Read? I would come to the edge and shine the hooded lantern into the water. Okay. And see if I see anything. You point the light, uh, of your hooded lantern. And you see something moving in the water. But you cannot really tell what it is. You cannot tell if it is... Uh, if it is something physical or if it's just the, the, a pulse, like a, like a wave in the water. Mm -hmm. I have movement in the water. <laughs> Let's say. To, okay, um, we're Kevin. coming. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're on our way. And I'll let Bjorn know that uh, he's uh, we've got movement in the water. I would sheath my short sword, mm -hmm. put the lantern on the ground, still pointed towards the water, and draw my sh my longbow. Perfect. Ready to fire. Make a perception check, everyone. Everyone? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sweet. everyone that is is looking here. I don't know if Bibik is as well. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, what you doing, Bibic? That was so close to a one. But it wasn't. How do I modify um, checks? If what you right-click on them, oh. you should be able to. Okay. Oh, it's not popping up? No. I got a five. <laughs> okay. Did you get the beyond twenty? So you got the beyond twenty thing, right? Yeah, I've rolled in here a couple times. I uh, just, didn't... just uh, go to features and traits on your thing, and it should say that it updated, and then, and then it should work. All right, I got a five. Okay, so uh, a, a five and a four from Bibic and from Cedric. Even though you are looking straight into the movement in the water, you are not able to to have the the initiative to react to the shape of the water that takes a humanoid form and rushes to attack you. Oh my God. The 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 form that it uh, takes it's similar to the the one on the picture, but. He is not this uh, clear blue uh, w uh, water uh, color, but instead he is a more uh, brackish uh, and Garbage more color. yeah. It it's Sprout. yeah. He he has the color of polluted water. That be said. Gross. Perfect. And uh, roll for initiative, but on the first round of combat, both uh, Cedric and Bibic will not act since they are oh, surprised. Surprised. Surprise, surprise. <clears throat> Should definitely have taken alert. No! <laughs> <laughs> wow, damn it, I didn't select my goddamn token again. Mm. Is this the whole thing of today? Is every three of us roll crappy and then one gets a really good one? Is that what's going to keep going on? <laughs> Looks like it. All we need. No, you're saving for the for the attacks. I know that. Saving yeah. the best for last. Yeah. 
and I wasted all my my luck on the dice. Uh, I think it was Sunday. I got like five net twenties in the same combat with only one enemy against right. the the players. Okay, so uh, baby, let me add your turn. Five on the initiative, and Bjorn, you got a six. Okay, uh, so the hell I cannot edit okay uh, so Draven I think you have a higher dexterity than Bjorn right most likely mine's a 14 mine's a 14 uh -huh. <laughs> okay so I'll let you guys decide who wants to go first but uh, before uh, you go, the water elemental rises from the water, takes this position here, and he will uh, make two slam attacks. <coughs> so the first <coughs> the first one is going to be on Cedric. Oof. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. And the second one is going to be on Bjorn. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't know who amongst you two want to go first. You can go, Draven. Mm. Or, or are you surprised? Or no, you're not. No. Okay. Uh, sorry, my dog is licking me. Hold on. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, Eldritch Blast. I got a feeling I don't think my blades are going to do much. Put that water. Yeah, <laughs> nine. Nine won't do. Yeah, I think you're right. You're all going to roll crappy tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. How do you put... Dyson gel on <laughs> in the beyond. Uh, you d <laughs> you don't uh you do have two rays of Eldritch Blast, don't you? At this level. Oh yes, I do. That's right. I do have two. Hold on, one more. <laughs> yeah, but that twelve won't do either. Oi. <laughs> Oi. Where do you wish to end your turn? On right there, where where you at? Yeah, right there where I'm at. Okay, so Bjorn, you're the next one to go. All right. <laughs> and I am going to use my bonus action to shift into my bear form and get my ten hit points. Okay, and then I'm going to punch this wave. Oh yeah, 21. Nice. Seven points of thunder damage. Mm -hmm. And one more time. And 11 points of thunder damage. And yeah, it's got so it's got disadvantage on everybody but me. Okay. Um, yeah, those are thunder damage. So 18 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I have. No. I... You hit with more. Okay. Uh, do you want to move? Okay, so Bibek, you are surprised, oh, yeah. and yep. now another round is Cedric's turn. Alright, Cedric will disengage with his bonus action, and then come back 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and fire his arrows. But he's going to use his special arrows because they're magical. He's got five of them. 
and they do a plus two, the plus two arrows that he's got. Ooh, nice. So I'm going to fire them using my longbow. Here we go. Holy. That's a nat 20. No way. Yeah. That's nice. awesome. Well done. And that is also sneak attack damage because... Oh, baby. The Arn is right there. <clears throat> oh, baby. Why isn't it rolling sneak attack damage? Let me... Hold on. Where's my sneak attack? There we go. Sneak attack. And then add two damage for the extra uh, arrow stuff, right? Okay, you've... Uh... You roll to the eight plus seven. Is that correct? Oh, you have braces of archery, right? Yes. So you already have a five on dexterity. Yes. Good lord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good lord, indeed. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Holy shit! Holy yeah. Moly. So that is. So the arrow, the longbow damage is plus two as well. So that's actually so 13 32. instead of 11. 32 damage. Yeah. Damn. 19. Oh, shush, shush. Okay. That is some good damage. You are going to end your turn there? Yes. Action bonus. Ow. I did not think that an arrow could hurt a wave so much. Yeah. Thankfully, it was... A, a magical arrow. As you can see here, the elemental enters inside both Bjorn and Draven's uh, space because it can do that since it has water form. Oh good, oh good. Uh, and with that, it will do its whelm attack. Oh. Uh, both of you have to make a, a strength save. And if you fail, you take some bludgeoning damage, and you will be grappled. <coughs> yep. Yeah, Bjorn, no! Draven, no! <laughs> okay, yeah, he can, grab, uh, he can grapple uh, up to two medium creatures, so that means both of you are grappled and restrained. And you are unable to breathe. Unless oh, one of you is able to breathe underwater. And I don't think so. And how much damage should we take? 14? 14 damage. Okay. Ooh, baby. Uh, you, are, uh, you can try to escape uh, with an action. Uh, either athletics or acrobatics. Uh, DC 14. Or, but you can still act as normal if you want to attack. Just be mindful that as restrained creatures, you have disadvantage on any attack, and any attack has advantage against you, okay? Yeah, makes sense. Uh, so, Draven, it is your turn. Uh, I'm gonna cast Misty Step. Hmm. Or you can do Misty Step. <laughs> 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 I was going to do Thunderstep, but uh, Bjorn's right next to me. Can't you take someone along with Thunderstep? Yeah, I think you oh, can. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to cast uh, Thunderstep then, and you're right. I'll do that yeah. and uh, get me and Bjorn out of there. Uh, we'll go 30 feet below this thing to up the right me. here. Where are we going over here? Yep, and then uh, 18 points of thunder damage. Okay, thunder step. It's been so long since no one used this spell in my games. It's a fucking clutch spell. Yeah. Yeah, it's this on the space you left. It and I say boom. In um, uh, you can teleport uh, one. Missile. Mm -hmm. I just say boom. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this the spell <laughs> fits this situation perfectly. You can use everything 
that it, it says you can do, like... Uh, <laughs> all the, the minutia of the spell, the carrying capacity and everything just fits perfectly on this situation. Well done. Okay. Uh, oh no, it's 11, can save, so I take the full 18 damage. And then can I still... Oh, that was an action thing. Yeah. And the creature is now bloodied. That is Excellent. it, Draven? Uh, let me see if I have any good bonus action things. <coughs> Um, yep, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Okay, Bjorn. Alright, I'm gonna walk back up to this thing. And punch it again. You trying to get your gross garbage hands on me? Uh, I'm gonna miss. Mm -hmm. 14? Uh, a 14 uh, is enough. You can hit with it. It is enough? Six points of thunder damage, and yeah, once again, disadvantage on everybody else. And that's my turn. Okay. Once again, disadvantage on that. Bibic, your turn. Uh, Bibic will use his action to dash, and he'll just... <laughs> and he'll get just to here, and that'll be my turn. <laughs> oh no. Uh, you're not gonna enter rage, nothing like that. No, okay. ah, it's just water. I don't, I'm not mad at water. <laughs> this is nasty water. It's got like diapers in it and stuff. Okay. Sorry. Apparently, there's a leak in my unit, and I had no idea. So, I'm gonna have to deal with that at some point. But yeah, it's my turn. Yeah, it is your turn. Okay, I will... F oh, wow, he's bloody already. Okay. I'll fire another magical arrow at him. So that is 25 to hit. Twenty-five damage total. Now, okay. It's the water elemental's turn. Let me see if I recharge my thingy. Also uh, gonna move. Oh no! Five, 10, 15, Twenty. Okay. Twenty-five. Thirty. He can no, only. Than yeah, he uh, can only attack twice. So the first one at disadvantage on Bibic. 20 to hit Bibic. That hits. And normal hit on Bjorn. 15. 13 bludgeoning Bibic. Yep. And uh, Draven, you're next. Okay, I'm gonna cast X on this guy just to try to finish him off faster, and then I will. That's with my bonus, and then I'm going to do my Eldritch Blast. Okay. Never mind that. Uh huh. That was me hitting the wrong thing. <clears throat> yeah, you just hexed him. Yeah, I hexed him. The Eldritch. Okay, both Okay, 19 and 18 for each blast. Both will end. That's 
12 for the first one. Another hex. Eleven on the second one, right? Correct. Okay, so with an Eldritch Blast, you are able to uh, nice. undo the water elemental, and you all see the the water uh, losing the whatever uh, force it was capturing it as a yeah, unit, yeah. and then poof, it just becomes water. Uh, washing the floor. But, but Bibik didn't get to fight! Now I just start grabbing at the water. <laughs> Sorry, Bibik. <Bibi. Bibi. laughs> okay, you can all act out of initiative order. What the heck was that? Water! Water. Doesn't Water. seem to be the thing that was Water. causing the fog, because the fog is still here. Are there more? Could be. Maybe all the water around here is like that. Mmm. I say we keep investigating. Maybe that's why he came, because uh, we're on to something. We should explore the ship at the end of the docks. Yeah, maybe it was guarding it. Let's head that way. Oops. Okay. As you continue exploring, uh, let us take our five minute break. I know you've <laughs> already. Uh, probably grab some water, but I still have to do that, so yeah, yeah. give me five minutes while we take Absolute. a break and we'll be back. <laughs> yeah. We beat the shit out of that water. Mm -hmm. Get dunked on water. Mm. Fuck, let's wash your body. Hey, I get hex for eight hours. Nice. Like you can just keep recasting it for eight hours? This concentration uh, yeah, lasts for eight hours. Yeah, oh, it's sorry. concentration. Oh, interesting. And with that, I already used both of my spell slots. I already used my bear form. I should have saved it. I think that's probably way that... through this down is supposed to get this to use our spell. Yeah. Yeah, the little bait and switch, huh? Got me. He's probably reading up on the uh, Grandmaster bad guy to get us. <laughs> He's going to have to. If he has any hope of defeating us. He's probably also practicing his evil laugh. <laughs> I'm wonder what that water would have sounded like if it had an evil laugh. Probably a gurgling sound. <laughs> <laughs> Just like choking. <laughs> so we just got attacked by the Thames River. Yeah, it enveloped us too, which I'm not too happy about. The good thing my armor is gleaming plates and can never get dirty, so.
Yeah, I should tell him I'm using prestidigitation to get the water yeah. off of me. Yeah, you're gonna want to get that off you. Smell like theme park water. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like open up my boots so that I can let the water drain out. I got a feeling we're gonna need uh, like uh, potion. Uh, what is that for the um, breathe underwater? Water breathing potions. If we can do a long rest, then I can get alter self, and then I can give myself gills and a swimming speed, which would be helpful. Um, but I got nothing. Yeah, to do I got guys. it. Well, I think I can get that as a Eldritch Invocation eventually, but yeah. not until like 7th level, I think. Oh, that's next level. Let's just kill everything we see until he gives us a level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's keep killing water. Yeah, we'll just attack that water until he gives us a level. I'll hold it while you hit me. <laughs> I wish we tried to grapple that water. That would have been pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I was I was surprised that melee attacks were hurting it. I was I was like, okay, it's water, so and that's why I didn't go with my swords. Well, my melee attacks do thunder damage, so they're not really melee attacks. Yeah, I just picked up uh, Thunderstep, and I, I totally forgot that I could take you with me, because I was like, man, I could have used it, it <laughs> but he's right next to me. I want to hit him. <laughs> that was dope. That was perfect. Just fucked that thing up. Next thing you know, there's five of them. I'm like, we ain't fighting five. I wonder if he dumbed it down a little bit because we only have four people instead of the five we did have. Yeah, I'm sure he's adjusted it. He would have he to. Forgot that he gave me magical arrows. I just yeah, bet he didn't think you were going to use it on it. Why wouldn't I? Water. Yeah, you, you didn't really have too much other options. I literally have no other magical options. I have no spells that do magical damage. And I have no weapons that are... You have no cantrips? No, none of my cantrips do damage. Except uh -huh. for, like, uh, Mind Sliver. But it's a cantrip, so it's whatever. I don't use it, use it often. And I'm pretty what? sure... Does it say they have to know a language? No. It's just, okay. It's just like 2d6 psychic damage. I'm like, I can do better. Why would I do that? Yeah. How many magic arrows did he give you? Items? Um, no, arrows. Arrows? The only five. So I have three left. Oh shit, you already used two? Yeah, I, there was two this combat. Oh. I probably would have waited for the fanger. I mean, I guess, but... Oh, you still got three, so... Just hit him in the heart. I wouldn't have used them if I had, like, a plus one short sword or something, but I don't have anything like that. Oh, yeah. I have a... a thing that I can give somebody. Yeah. I should, uh, do that. Yeah, you should. Artificer. <laughs> well, I mean, I was going to give it to TK and then he immediately left, so. You scared him off. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, so. We advance. Um, <clears throat> as soon as you reach the spot 
where you are right now you can see that in the middle of the fog on this bridge right here there is a humanoid shape oh It is still hidden in the fog. What do you do? Where is the shape? Uh, like it it on the bridge. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that. Okay, I would shine the light towards it. Put mm -hmm. it on the ground. Okay. Even with no. your your lantern, you cannot see it. Uh, you cannot see the the creature entirely. You can only see that uh, it doesn't look fishy. <laughs> like uh, it it it, uh, it is wearing armor and it is um, using some um, something on its head, like some <coughs> some sort. You don't know if it's a a, a helm or if it is something some um, head uh, address something like that but it's certainly noticeable on the silhouette that it's its head is very big <laughs> hello show yourself it's there you is dangerous there what dangerous we are the danger you that's not threatening you <laughs> never intimidate again <laughs> I mean, what if he's, he's he's in danger? What if he's a regular person? Looks like a regular. Why is the fog what goes through your head when you think of these circumstances? I mean, it's a dock where regular people are supposed to be. I mean, have you seen one regular person this entire time we've been here? <laughs> There's us. Yeah, We're not regular. pretty regular. We're not regular. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Regular people would be devoured by a water elemental. We crushed it. We did crush it. Uh, I will walk. I will walk towards the figure in the bridge to get a better look at it. Okay. <clears throat> As you come near, you can see the shape of a of a woman. Uh, the way the the way it's dressing. Uh, it resembles that of a priest of some kind, but you don't immediately recognize the the type. the The woman, the priestess, has this vague expression on her face, and she stares uh, some uh, fixed point uh, near where you are, but she never looks eye to eye to one of you instead when when you finally come close enough to see her she says welcome I just saw what you did with the water you know you should not be here at this point right no. Please do enlighten us. Yeah, we did not see any signs that said don't attack water. The your e the the problem is that the water will fight you back. Not all are able to defend themselves from such power do you have a point what's your name I I'm Bibi greetings Bibi I am but a priestess, but if you wish to call me names, like humans do, you can call me Damp Hair. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Do I still have uh, detect magic going? Uh, for how long does it last? It's though? Ten, 10 minutes. Yeah, you are about. It's about to expire. So, what do you want to detect? <clears throat> uh, does she have like an aura about her? She has the aura of a spellcaster, but not any. She act. have like a conjuration spell that she's actively concentrating mm, on. Possibly? No, she doesn't have that. Oh, okay, that's that's one. So that means there's probably more than her. Yeah, she's not the one conjuring the fog, it seems. Why, uh, why do you not want us here, damp hair? I don't mind your presence here. I just wish you to know that you are in risk of danger. From who? Don't you see the mists? Don't you feel its dreadful power draining your vitality? Tell me it's a, like a vampire mist? I mean, I feel fine. I don't know what you're talking about. I really <laughs> feels great, too. <laughs> I do have the heebie-jeebies. It is. You're under the influence of a great power. The great will of Ia. And there are some that cannot resist its crushing pressure. Okay, since I'm not religified, is anybody religified up in here? And tell me what that was. He is, he is apparently oh this God. god of the these fish people that we're trying to find. I thought that the mayor struck a deal with the Sahaugan and, and Ia, and he did. They For weren't noble people as sacrifices that we stopped. Well, I mean, they sell a whole bunch of people. I'm pretty sure they were bringing down here, which is. What we're trying to stop now. Yes. But we also kidnapped the mayor, so we interrupted the chain of command. Well, I guess we'll have to defeat a god then. There is no Be need. Be my guest. There is oh. no need to defeat Eo. Well, do you work for Eo? <laughs> Ia is an entity. I worship it. See, this is why she's saying this because she, it's a, it's like a mommy figure to her. Like, do, 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 does he? Yeah. What, you what, don't. We do not answer to you. Clearly, Ia is evil. So please, <laughs> politely move aside before we skewer you. <laughs> well, let's let's not be too hasty. What does what does Ia want with the the land folk? We, I mean, the letter says she was going to destroy Mithril Harbor, so I don't know what more you need. Well, I mean, let's let's just see what Damp Hair has to say about it. Ia is not evil nor good, mm. but a force of nature. It hungers and it slumbers as all living creatures do. It been hibernating for hundreds of years and the more its slumber lasts, the greater its hunger will become. The way that the land folk are dealing with their mining operations, exploding powder and making noises 
that can be heard throughout the depths will certainly awaken Ia before time to avoid Ia's ire that will destroy both land and sea. She has to have enough to eat when she wakes up. There is no other way. So you're going to devour the humans of Mithril Harbor because Ia is hungry. That sounds pretty evil to me. Well, it's kind of a human's fault, it sounds like, because they're going to wake him up by blowing shit up down there. Uh, Are you trying to keep Ia asleep? Is that what's going on? I think they're just prepping for when it eventually wakes up and is going to be pissed and hungry. We do not wish Ia to destroy what we know. We wish to survive. That's why we have to serve. If Ia, Is there a way to... If Ia gets satisfied with the sacrifice we will offer, she might go back to its hibernation and leave us with more decades or centuries to prosper. Is there a way to find Mithril without the explosions? If not, if the mithril is underwater. <laughs> it sounds like they've tried that and died. It's the first time anybody's been able to do it, so... Yeah, and uh, if you ask Damper, she <laughs> just gives it her shoulder like, I, I don't know, <laughs> nothing yeah. of meter extraction, sorry, not my area of expertise. Maybe we need to talk to uh, the Dwarfmeister and see if he has a different way of it getting the mithril. I have a feeling he's not going to want to give up his his golden opportunity. <clears throat> well, obviously there's going to be a big to-do if he keeps this up. I don't know if we should just be letting them take a bunch of citizens. No, it's not citizens, nobles. Hmm. Will we really miss them? That's the question. I, I won't, but I'm sure somebody will. And it sounds like the mayor is choosing them just so that he can have more power in the city. I'm sure he is. Uh, I guess we could do the heroic thing and stop them from getting eaten, if that's what it'll take. What's on the boat? This boat has been gifted at us. There, on, on, on the boat, my masters are waiting for the, <coughs> for the, for Ia's sacrifices to arrive. Oh, should we talk to them then? I came here as a herald. Hi, Harold. This is a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> here in the last uh, three seconds of solid silence. <laughs> huh. It was a delayed laugh. It was mm. bad. <laughs> oh, the sacrifices aren't here yet, then. Well, guys, what do you want to do? It's either um, attack these guys to keep the sacrifices from going on, or let it happen. 
I think I think we should walk away from this. Walk away. Yeah, walk away and go we'll meet the sacrifices before they get here. Hmm. But yes, we should just walk away from this. Okay, so the two things that I know is either A, we fight the water, the fish people, or we fight the vampire that's probably <laughs> showing up with all the sacrifices. Or both. We're <laughs> <laughs> to get sandwiched here. That's why I think we should leave and find them before they get here. I don't want to say that. I don't say that out loud. <laughs> I don't want to be talking that loud. <laughs> okay, so we walk away and go find the sacrifices, and hopefully that's a little bit easier. Well, we got to stop them from getting on the boat. I think that's the most important thing. I don't think we need to go and fuck up whoever the fuck is on that boat. That is, you know, the master of this weird sorceress. Okay. Um, I'm, does everybody want to do that? I'm conflicted. We're here. And I feel like we have the upper hand if we take on the boat right now. We don't know what's on the boat. Can Bibi just see what's in the boat? <laughs> I, I asked the priestess. <laughs> Oh, no. Doesn't hurt to ask. Make a persuasion check for us. Oh, Fuck good. yeah. Let's Fuck see yeah, how charismatic. dude. Yeah, Let's map. see how charismatic I can be. Oh, nope. Wait, wait. There is a chance that my insight is worse than that. No. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not lying. I just want to see what's on the boat. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've never rolled... seen Fishman before. <laughs> I rode on Whisper mode, but I got a higher insight. Watch it be like 25 mind players on that boat. Oh. Oh. What the hell happened? Nothing Not what happened. You're just <laughs> uh, yeah, everything's fine. Nothing happened. You don't see anything, right? <laughs> I didn't see anything. What? Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, oh, she uh, she replies. Oh. I will have to ask the court. I cannot make such a decision. But be aware, the court of the depths. They make their decisions only once. If you somehow leave them unpleasant by your presence and they order me or anyone else to act, force will be laid upon you. Are, do you agree with these terms? Um. <laughs> oh, uh, Bibik scratches his chin. Bibik needs to ask his friends, and he'll. Uh, I come running over. She says we can meet the fishmen if they agree, and then if we behave ourselves. I have half a mind to slaughter them all right now. That, that wouldn't be behaving, though. feeling we're going to get into a lot of trouble in there. Because <laughs> of that reason. Their entire reasoning for being here is feeding their god when it wakes up angry. And we're really going to just it. let them do what they please. No, I got a feeling that they're trying to keep it asleep 
and they're just prepping it if they it does wake up that they have to feed it so okay. maybe we negotiate that they stop with the mithril mining and uh, stop the whole you know show before this thing wakes up so you're gonna convince everyone in mithril harbor to stop mithril mining when they just got it Let's see, Mithril, the Apocalypse, I don't know. <laughs> Just saying, Mithril, the Apocalypse. You haven't dealt with humans very much, have you? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. I'm pretty sure the capitalists on Mithril Harbor already made their choice. I will guarantee you this, growing up in a noble household, Nothing will stop their greed from getting them what they you, want. The mayor and knew the, this was happening, and he just made this deal to just send a bunch of people down there. Are, are we having are we having trouble making a decision? What decision is there to make? We either let them do what they're doing, and let them sacrifice these fifteen nobles that are being exchanged, or what else? What is what else is the decision? Kill them. It wreak the wrath of this Ea. Somebody is dying tonight. <laughs> and it right. will not be us. Well. Yeah, so I which... vote that. Not us. Oh, so which one? I vote all of them personally, but. Hmm. But yeah, I don't think we should do that all in one night. I think that we should probably go and find the captives. Okay. Because if we get in this fight and it's tougher than we think, then we're going to have to fight the people coming with the captives as well. And then, yeah. I'd rather free the people but, and then make sure that's going to happen. And then if we can, maybe we'll come back. All right. Yeah, I uh, hope that we free the captives. You do realize that if we free the captives, we're still going to have to fight the fish people because they no longer have captives to feed to their god when it wakes up. Yep. Okay. Okay, so then we're back to either stopping the mithril or, you know, the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, which, I mean, clearly that's not going to happen. So I guess Mithril we're will not be stopped. There and... Punch that god in the dick. Sort of offing everybody in charge of mining the mithril, the mithril will not be stopped. I think it's going to be easier to fight the fish god. So who are we fighting? Because <laughs> Bibik didn't get to fight the water. So, <laughs> if we keep fucking around here, those, those captains are going to show up and we're going to have to fight them all at once. Okay, let's just go free the captives and then figure out what to do after that. Okay. All right. Uh, goodbye, Miss Dampier. I, I, I wave. And I, I, we start trotting down the dock, I guess. <laughs> Goodbye. She seems nice. <laughs> Very friendly. Uh, this time... Bibik goes in front, so Bibik gets to fight. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I'm always in front. Okay. Uh, where do you want to go right now? So, I, we kind of just want to get to... Because I guess this is, this is the spot that's kind of like the bottleneck where no matter where they come from, they're going to be coming here, right? Yes. So... 
So I think we just kind of want to wait for them right here. Maybe we can we can, can we get a short in rest in. in. If we wait for them here, we can at least be a ways away from the damp here and all them. And kind of ambush them when they're coming in and yeah. We can I'm down with it. that because we can try to get a short rest in it if we can. Yeah. Do we tuck ourselves into the buildings? Yeah, hide in the smoke. Although I don't know if we should hang out in that smoke for very long. It sounds like it's he is I don't know. Bad he is spooky it. stuff, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. So do you want to take a short rest, okay? Right? Yeah, uh, we'll take it we'll, if we can. So uh, yeah. Remembered when I rolled on the D100 table, uh, yeah. and everyone but Bjorn was under a certain effect. Yes. The effect that I rolled was an elder evil <laughs> turns oh. its attention yeah. to the region, imposing the pressure of its unfathomable presence upon the place. Any creature that finishes a rest in the region must succeed on a DC-12 charisma save, or it gains no benefit from finishing the rest. <laughs> it instead find, finds strange scrolls, stacked stones, or its belonging arranged in intricate, abstruse patterns nearby. <clears throat> DC-12, not too... So do I have to roll it, or because I passed, I don't have to no, roll it? No, Bjorn, you're, you don't feel the, the crushing presence of this. Do I have to roll it, or because I drank the oil, I don't have to? <laughs> no, everyone else has to, have to roll. Let's and you, go. And you can use the time to, to discover, if you want, uh, what is the, the yeah, oil. Yeah, I have an alchemy set, so I can check it out for you. And uh, Cedric just makes me feel good. Mm. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, wait, it's like Christmas uh, Yeah, I don't, have... <laughs> I don't have identify anymore. Yeah, be big. I... You didn't Do like... I have to attune to the circlet? Uh you... Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> the charismatic warlock <laughs> didn't pass the charisma save. <laughs> and that one. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Damn, Lex, you're the one who really needed that short rest too. Let me see if this is a tournament item. Yeah, it is not. Uh, Cedric, you don't. Need, it is not an uh, attunement isn't required. So. Okay. So, do I add something to my sheet? Uh, yes. Do you want you know to study to discover what it is? Yes, I okay. would like to study it, wear it, do whatever I gotta do. So you test it and you discover that you are the happy owner of a circlet of blast. Ooh. I don't good. I don't know if you want to keep that to you or if you want to hand it Another on to someone thing that else. Makes blow up. Yeah. Mm, no, uh, but I will wear it. And while it you're like wearing the circlet item, so. you can use an action to cast the scorching ray spell. When you make the spell attack, you do so with an attack bonus of plus 5. You can't be used this way again until the next dawn. Okay, nice. so one, one spell usage. That's not bad. Pretty sick. If I want to light something on fire. Yeah, you can shoot a vamp with that. Hmm? Yeah, and for the, the, the flask. Nah, I don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to know. Okay, so this is Vivek's fla mystery flask of feel-good juice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now that you think about it, and you you take a, a little more time to to explore it, you notice that the the contents of the flask is not liquid. Mm. You you felt as if it you drank something, but now that you think about it, and, and you. Uh, analyze it with your eyes <laughs> with your naked eye you think that instead of liquid the contents of the flask is gaseous but that if you don't need to know that's all I'm gonna say to you <laughs> I've been huffing ether yeah I got some good whippets over there 
<laughs> Righty. Uh, okay, so Draven and Bibic, you do not benefit from a short rest. You don't regain anything you would normally regain. <laughs> so, Draven, you don't recuperate your spells. That's yeah, so rough. But Cedric, you do. I don't know if you have uh, HP, hit dice to roll, anything like that. Yeah, I can roll a hit dice, that's about it. But I don't get my spell <coughs> slots back. Yeah. But I mean, you're a rogue. Rogues are almost resourceless. Oh my god. I'm gonna use two hit die. <laughs> Better. I got my shifting back. <laughs> So in this hour, no, uh, nobody shows up. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do anything before this uh, one hour ends? Um. Oh no, I didn't do that. <laughs> Never mind. No, no, nothing. Uh, if if I can, I'd like to just scrounge some solid wooden planks. Okay. You are able to do that, no problem. Uh, that is it for your 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 short rest. Guess so. Okay. As soon as you uh, find yourselves finishing the rest you start to hear the sounds and see the movement in the distance it's around uh, uh, 1 uh, uh, a.m. yeah <laughs> 1 a.m. past midnight the night mm -hmm. is dark and even more so because of the, fo the, the weird dreaded fog from Ia and in the distance you can see a crowd of people coming towards the docks not a moment passes uh, and you can finally notice they, that they are uh, almost all identical twins but <laughs> but they are the the guests from the party that you found <laughs> laying uh, unconscious in that dark room where you found Lady Alara uh, what do you do? If you want to roll uh, stealth to hide, this is the time for you to do that. Yeah, if not, I, you I will be gonna... noticed in the next moment. I was gonna jump into this doorway, into the smoke, uh, if once I like heard people coming closer. And yeah, I'll roll stealth. Are there are there people with them? Like, are there guards with yeah, them, or does it just seem like the guest? Uh. From where you're standing at, there is only one guard. This one leading the the throng of people. The others are all noblemen and women and overall guests of the of the And they're party. just kinda Yeah, are they like else walking on their own two feet? Hmm? Sorry? They're walking on their own two feet, they're not getting mm -hmm. carried? They are walking on their own two feet. And so they are they like Five. Swaying like zombie style, or they like look normal. Perfect. Make uh, make an insight check for us. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Eleven. Great. Uh, you think they look weird? They don't okay. look like their normal selves. But you cannot tell if it is because they are drunk, they are tired, or they are, uh, as you said, zombified. They've done something to these humans to make them follow their will. Only Bjorn's going uh, to try to this. Yeah. Yeah, where, are you, where are you guys going? Are you just standing in the middle of the road? We're going to fight. Whoa. Okay. What? Your mic was fucking up. Can you hear me now? 
Oh, no. no. I yeah. can hear you said oh, can you hear you me now? There you go. I hear you oh. now. No, you heard me. Oh. I thought it was your mic that was fucking up. <laughs> no, 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 that was Trevin. Uh Shane, are you in the Matrix? Yeah, he is it through the Matrix. <laughs> I was about to make Sorry, this. I was joke. distracted. There's a plumber in my building. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can hear you. What's happening? Uh, You're so dead. the uh, <laughs> the guard is coming around the corner, and the nobles are just kind of like following him, kind of like shambling, kind of like possibly drunk, possibly zombified. Um, but yeah, they're just kind of like following this one guard. Uh, yeah, and we're all rolling stealth checks to see okay. if we can stealth. We all kind of like went into this house. Okay. Into and the, we're but trying be, to get the jump on him. Yeah, but we are already rolled stealth. a five on stealth, so. Yeah, it's my. God. It's Dang. My creaky armor okay. on. Uh, when the guard gets within 90 feet, I'm going to go ahead and do my. cast my hex on him. Ooh, okay. Jesus. <laughs> well, that's. Gonna, How many spell know. slots do you have? This is your last one, right? Or level 5? No, no, I don't have any left, but it's for 8 hours. I can keep a hex up for 8 hours. Oh, right, yeah. So he's still concentrating on it from the last time he put it up. Yeah, good thing you remember that. Yeah, it's up to 1 hour, but you cast it as a 3rd level, right? Okay. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, uh, he is within 9 feet away, I think, so yeah. You hex the guard, correct? So I will put the purple dot on him. Uh, does he know he is hexed? No. So if you range until the spell ends, you deal an extra. Uh, you can choose one ability, the target has disadvantage. Uh, yeah, the creature. Yeah, the creature doesn't specifically doesn't tell if he knows that he's been hacked. So okay, and then I'll do uh, wisdom checks. Okay, wisdom. You're gonna insight check these bitches? No, giving the guard disadvantage on wisdom checks. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, and insight uh, was already done, so unless someone wants to discover something different than what we are intended, insight is locked behind guards. Uh, <laughs> everyone but Bjorn got really good stealths. <laughs> Let me see if um, if he can notice someone else other than Bjorn. Uh, actually. Let me roll something real quick. If my roll 20 decides to help me. Yeah, okay. So I rolled a net one since my wisdom wow. uh, skill oh, checks are, are hexed. <laughs> yeah! So that means, uh, Bjorn, even though you are not, you were not quiet enough you are still undetected now that all your your allies did uh, better stuff than you did so the crowd of people walks there is not a single conversation happening only the 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 one knight leading the strong of of people through this the streets of the docks i would like to take we attack arrow. Yeah, sprint out of the... <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna signal to Bibic and I think we're both gonna sprint out at this guy as he goes by out okay. the store. You can all roll initiative then and uh obviously here. Mm -hmm. okay. Obviously they are all surprised. <coughs> oh damn it, I never select my goddamn Oh I did! I did that time! I did it! <laughs> Bibic, for the first time, you are the one to act first. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run outside. I'm gonna see the guy. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna, I'm wasting no time. I missed out last time. I'm gonna rage, and I'm just gonna, um, 
<laughs> Try to club him over the head with a two by four. Jesus. It's a two right, by so we don't want it. I don't know if we necessarily want to kill this guy, so I'm just yes, being cautious. Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. Oh, we do? Oh, we do. Oh, we do? Okay, never mind. I'll, <laughs> I'll use the big great ass. <laughs> uh, and I will uh, re recklessly, uh, recklessly attack. Okay. I don't think you advantage. have to because he's at advantage because he's surprised. I'm doing it anyway. No, su surprise wouldn't give me advantage. Uh, advantage. Would. Yes, it would. If, yeah. uh, if if he didn't see me, surprise. it would give me advantage. No, uh, yeah, he's... not surprise, but stealth will do. Will give you advantage, and you rolled stealth, right? I'm too yeah, stupid yeah. anyway. I'm rolling. Yeah, that hits. Uh, and can I swing twice? Because I got multi attack. Mm -hmm. You can't, but uh, let's, the, let's. Yeah, the, the second one doesn't have uh, the first one you review your position So now you can use a reckless if you want advantage. Yeah, that's why I'm rolling reckless <laughs> Nice. Hell yeah okay. <clears throat> All right, I'll roll that twice For damage uh, And that should be and then plus four to that because I'm raging Okay, you. Uh, the second attack was a 19 to hit, correct? Yep. yep. Uh, okay, so it would hit, but I'm going to use. Oh, sorry. I'm going to use the knight's reaction to ah, parry. Fair. Where is it? Here. Uh, so that way his AC goes up and a 19 w won't hit him anymore. So it's only a 15 for the first attack, uh, for the first yeah. attack, correct? Uh, it was a 26 to hit and then a 19. No, 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 uh, for, for damage though, for it was damage. 13 plus. Yeah, 15. Oh. yeah, it would be 15 damage total. Okay, and I totally forgot to, to do this on the, on the um, water elemental, but I discovered how to make health bars appear. And not show the, the health number, only the <laughs> only the bar. So that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's okay. that's Bibik's whole whole turn. Wait, wait. Did you put the 15 points of damage on him? Because his health bar no, no, did no, not no. go. Yeah, he's he's at full. <laughs> I was like, oh my <laughs> god, this guy has so much health. Uh, f minus 15. Now I will subtract it. Did it move? Yeah. He yep. Did. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Uh, okay, Bjorn, you're next one to go. Yeah, so I'm gonna run out here. And I'm gonna give me old punch punch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Nat no. Punch him again! 15? No. no. He's a 19 he 18 on. armor class. Something yeah. like that. And... 14 and disadvantage to hit anyone but you, right? Exactly. And Art I'm gonna step so if he has advantage to hit me, so that cancels out. He'd be just rolling normal to hit me. That's true. <clears throat> Alright, and I'm gonna step onto this side so we can flank him. Should have done that first, but <laughs> yeah, I should have. <laughs> but a 17 wouldn't <laughs> land either. Uh, anyways, Draven, you're next. Okay, with a bonus action, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Hexblade Curse on him, and that gives me another plus three for damage, and a possible crit on a 19 or 20. Plus, if he dies, I get 10 point hit points back. Are you Marvelous. missing hit points? Yeah, he got whelmed. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I'll move, and then on my action, I'm going to hit him twice with the <coughs> blade. Ow. 
How about a natural 19? So that is uh, a critical. Hit. Critical. That is a crit, man. And then just a regular 20 on the second hit. Okay. Uh, a 20 will hit, and a net, a net 19 will do as well. And you double your hex damage as well, remember that. Okay. <laughs> you did more damage with uh, the one hand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is doubled. You have to roll again. Yeah, if you right-click on the damage die and go to... Oh, wait, you're on. You're not using Beyond. Never mind. That's what? Another 7 plus the 13? Uh, you, you're, you're using with one hand? Or if Say that again. Uh, you're using the longsword with one hand? Or two hands? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One so, hand. So it's 13 plus 3. Uh, remember that you only deal uh, double dice. You do not uh, add your charisma again. Okay, and then I gotta roll the uh, hex for the first shot. Yeah, hex is doubled as well. I'm subtracting a oh, another 12. Ooh. And then I gotta roll the damage Six for the six. second hit. <clears throat> I do not even need to tell you he's bloodied because you can see on his yeah. health bar. Nice. Okay, the second attack is 9 plus 11 damage. Oh, and uh, don't forget my plus 3, or that's 6 more points of damage because of the uh, Hexblade's curse too. 6 points, okay. Oh boy. Cedric, you are looking at a very corpsey knight. He just got fucking jumped in this alley. it on twice. Ooh, baby. Cedric, my man. Sorry, I was dealing with the plumber. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Um, you're a plumber. Yeah, the uh, dishwasher started leaking out of the blue, and the people underneath oh, no. have a leak in their ceiling now. Oh, fudge. Oh, yeah. Great. And That's they're going to charge my condo for it. Oh, what? Yep. I love surprise costs. The best yeah, thing ever. The worst. I'm going to go there and... Fire a regular arrow that's going to miss. So yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Rogues with only one attack. Okay, so we should head back to Bibic for the next round. But first, I will roll my initiative. For the night yeah he's not gonna <laughs> survive <laughs> but i shall now roll the initiative for everyone else they're fighting too yes no bibic bjorn and draven to a lesser extent cedric you can hear uh the crowd uh reacting to your sudden attack and the way they, they speak sounds vague sounds distant they all say uh, they are interrupting us 
Since we wish to go further, why are you interrupting us? They all sound like that. And Alex? they will act. Uh, yes, Bibik, it is your turn. Uh, I'm gonna recklessly attack again. Uh, I will recklessly attack the knight. Let's go. Only three. I think that hits. Mm -hmm. it uh, does. Let's see if I can kill him. Mm, maybe not. He's still up. Uh, plus two from rage, right? Plus two from rage. Okay, so as you can see, his health bar is depleted and he is down. Yeah, and first. I'm gonna take a first oh. kill, baby. <laughs> Let's yeah. go. Yeah. I'm gonna take a step towards the nearest noble. I'm gonna grab him by the collar and headbutt him as hard as I can, try to knock him unconscious. Uh, let's go. Nice. Okay. Uh, you can. Uh, uh, yes. You uh, let's. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. An arm strike. Oh, sorry. No, that's exactly. I, I didn't know you had that uh, set on. I'm always prepared to, okay. to hit. <laughs> when you say oh, the whoops, nearest... I keep, I, it keeps not rolling, <laughs> my bad. Keep his pimp hands strong. When you say the nearest uh, person is this the one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the one. Okay, uh, so... So that'll be seven bludgeoning damage. Yes. As a... <laughs> As you can see, that person is not very resistant. But since you are dealing unarmed, uh, uh, even though I'm putting an axe over the token, the the creature is not dead, only unconscious, okay? Yeah. And then I just yell at everyone else, like, ah! <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. Okay. At a certain hunk. They walk forward, and they are aggressive. Uh... I'm, I'm gonna do a club attack, but uh, imagine that they are wielding, uh, like, um, how's it called? Uh, let me, that thing, uh, which people use, uh, walk, like a walking stick, like a cane? Cane, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they hit me with your pimp canes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a different word here in Portuguese, it's called bengala, so... Whenever a word is similar, it's easier to remember, but not in this case. Yeah, um, not at all. Yeah, it's on... I, I didn't announce, but that was on, on Draven. It won't hit. Uh, but this dwarf right here, he has to his name a dwarf weapon. So he uh, unsheets a, um, a hammer that... He tries to attack on the on our barbarian. Uh, does he get advantage as well? Is everyone that gets advantage? Yep. Okay, nice. Yep. So um, <laughs> he's holding with two hands, so it's a one d ten if he if he hits with advantage. <laughs> that will not hit me. Yeah. Bjorn. There is no way that uh, this. Nubbles are going to be a tough encounter, but if you wish to spare their lives, you would have you have to stop them. Mm hmm. I know. I'm trying to think how best to do that. Grab a two by four. <laughs> Start swinging. That's why I gathered. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna have to just start punching him in the face. Uh, but I'm gonna like have my my gloves like retract so that I'm not using my my actual gloves. And uh, yeah, this one that's right in front of me, I'm just gonna tap her on the shoulder and then give her give her a little clock in the face. And I did two bludgeoning damage. Two. Look at the health bar. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Punch number two. Yep. 
Two more bludgeoning damage. It's out of combat. Do you wish to reposition yourself on the map? I'm going to stand right here. Okay. Really? Come out! Next one is this nobleman right here. He grabs his. Uh, he unsheets a rapier that he. Oh, jeez. You use on the arm. Oh my god, I can't hit anything. <laughs> Draven. <laughs> Draven, you're next. Okay, quick question. Can I use my swords but hit him with the hilt so I can get my three attack? Mm, yes. I'll, I'll rule that you have a minus five to hit okay because you're you, you can either hit too uh, too hard or too too soft and not do any damage it's harder to hit with the exact pressure you have to 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 make them unconscious but not outright kill them okay I mean, probably like fucking 10. Okay, that, that's fine. Um, but I still get like the 1 die 6 necrotic. Is that gonna kill him if I hit him with the with hex? Oh, hex these people. Ooh, that's a good <laughs> question. I think necrotic damage has the potential to, to kill. But Does death damage murder people? That's yeah. the. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, let's say that. Uh, since you are not trying to kill them, you will not uh, kill them outright. But if you deal, like, let's say, 50% uh, of their health on negative, then you accidentally kill them. Okay? So let's say and they, they have, have 4 HP. Four health? Yeah, you deal well, minus so 2. <laughs> so you have to hit 4 or 5 damage. <laughs> if you hit 6 damage. They die instead. Turn them into a raisin. Okay, so I won't do the hex. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just uh, start uh, swinging and hit him with the hilt at a minus five. So technically, whatever I roll is gonna be minus five, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, ooh, okay, yeah. so 23 minus 5 on the first hit. Mm -hmm. On which one? On uh, this guy right here? Which one? Uh, yeah, whoever's in front of me. Okay. So, uh, 18 to hit. Yeah, not even with uh, parry I can defend myself. So, it's a hit. Okay, what's the? what do you want the damage to be for the hilt? Roll your damage, but um, the the hilt damage won't uh, won't kill. Only the hex damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I didn't hex anybody. So. Yeah. But you asked that. Uh, that's why I. <laughs> About eight points. Eight points. Uh, can you Boy. believe it? He's still alive. Oh. That one. Okay, hex and then my. <laughs> Okay, then I'll roll again for the hit. Mm -hmm. That's fourteen hit. Yeah, Nine. not even with uh, not even a fourteen would hit with a minus five. That's not at all. Okay, and then I got my last one. You do three attacks. Oh, you, yeah. if you're offhand, with, right, right. Yeah, with a offhand. Yeah, you but mm -hmm. it's only a twelve. Mm -hmm. A 12 won't do either. Unless you wish right, to I hit him normal. Since your your offhand hit this less damage. You can try and hit him. As I said, you only if you Boy. do You did uh, oh. how much? Eight damage and he's still alive, so you can do minus yeah, so. four or five. He's, he's got more than four health, so. Do you want to try? 
<laughs> it's evil. Do, um, you want to try what? Do you want Do to you try? He's giving the option to just stab him with a with your and try not offhand to. instead of, and then you might just not kill him because he probably has two points of health, and then as long as you don't get to five negative points. So you could do seven points. Nah, of that's okay. I'll, I'll, I i do not want to kill anybody right now. Okay. <laughs> Cedric, do you want to kill anyone right now? <laughs> um, I bet he does. He prob can take probably, because I don't really have any love for nobles, but I know we also agreed to save the nobles, so I'm frustrated, because I'm like, where do I aim a lethal arrow to not kill them? Um, Boxing glove air. I am going to shoot them in the knee. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and their adventuring careers forever. Yeah. Uh, I will too give you a minus five to that, okay? If you want to hit a non-lethal attack. So, uh, if you take the minus five, no matter how much damage you do, you will not kill him, okay? Or you can try hit a normal, and you only kill him if he you deal 50% uh, his HP on the negative. Like Here's the thing, we know these guys have more HP than the other guys, and we don't know how much HP the dwarves have. So those are probably your best two targets. Okay, so I will attack um, this guy, and I will use my feature... Uh, steady aim to gain advantage. Ooh. And I will also take that minus five. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> <laughs> huh? Why what? does it say 38? I got a 23. I don't know why it says 38. It, I think it, it just didn't cross out one of the, the rolls. It said one is there. Yeah, it is. It, okay. it, well, I got it. I guess because yeah. they're the equal, it doesn't know which one to cross out, so it doesn't cross out either. That seems like a weird glitch. Yeah, yeah. that seems anyway, like something uh, Rose Funny so... will do. Yeah. So <laughs> twenty-three minus five is eighteen. Eighteen on the dwarf, right? No, this guy over here. Okay, sorry. Uh, on this guy. Okay, it's a hit. Okay, here and we go. And it's no lethal, so you can do all your sneak attacks to guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> his <laughs> knee explodes, <laughs> but he yeah, is not dead. He is now amputated. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 28 points of damage. Pop the knee right off. Okay. Uh, next round is this guy. He will Warhammer on Bjorn. <laughs> oh my god, they can't eat anyone. <laughs> Will. This is going to be the redemption. Uh, this guy is going to rapier at Draven. Oh my god! <laughs> What's happening with this cobbler? <laughs> it just ain't happening. Draven just sticks his tongue out at him. We got a bunch of drunk zombie nobles. Yarn, of course. Twelve. And Bibic. Nine. <laughs> nope. Bibic, back to you. Yeah, I'm just going to slam my fist into the, the, the dwarf nobleman's face. Um, you know I'm doing it reckless, oh, always, every time. Okay. Oh, I had I had advantage uh, against you. Let me roll another one. Oh, as... Yeah, 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 go crazy. <laughs> no. Nope. Okay. Uh, 26 to hit that guy, so that's 7 damage to him. Okay. Is he still up? Uh, 7 damage? I yes, he's still up. To the dwarf? Alright, mm -hmm. then I'll, I will just attempt to do it again. Oh, thank you. Seventeen. Seventeen, uh... He... Let me, uh, no, he has a fifteen. Yeah, even with parry, right. he is down. Uh, yeah, and uh, as a bonus action, can I grab uh, his Warhammer and, and yell, Bjorn, and toss it to Bjorn? No, <laughs> you can, you can. <laughs> All right, I will toss the warhammer to Bjorn. Okay, oh. you, you interact with the object very quickly. Uh, let me see. Uh, he doesn't have a turn. He's dead. Uh, he's down actually. And Bjorn, you're next. Okay. Now I have a hammer. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, I'm gonna try and hit the nobleman next to me with this hammer. Again. Hey -o. Okay, on which one you're hitting? Uh, this one that's almost dead. Okay, you're trying to hit him non lethal? Yes. I only did three points of damage anyway. Okay. So, do you want to risk the. the, the, the negative thing then? Right? Well, it's a, it's a bludgeoning weapon, right? It was a warhammer. Yeah, and I, it's I a only... warhammer. If if someone smashes <laughs> your head with a warhammer, <laughs> you can Man, choose to I be no lethal. Was... But but if no, you... I knew I wasn't going to do enough damage with it. I'm not very good with a warhammer, so I'm just kind of swinging around wildly and just kind of caught him right in the side of the head and knocked him out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, but yeah, only three damage. You only deal two, and he can take tank up to minus four. So cool. yeah, those uh, are you two, your two attacks, right? My two attacks, yeah, and I'm just gonna, after that sort of failed attempt, I'm just gonna be like, man, this sucks, and just drop the hammer on the ground. <laughs> okay. And, then, <laughs> and that's my turn. Okay, guys, one second, uh, very quick. I'm back guys, just talking to my wife. <coughs> um, perfect. Uh, is that it for your turn, Bjorn? Yes. So, Draven, you're next. There are one, okay. two, three. Still up. Wait yeah. a minute, the guy that's in just to my right, is he still up? No. All, only nope. the, the green bars are people. Yeah. We can. Let me put something here too. A skull. <laughs> I don't want to put the, the, the red axe because they are still alive, only unconscious. So Just a tiny thingy here. Okay, because I, I see Bjorn's green and then I see... The guy that's just to the right of Bjorn's are green. above their portraits, They're not above. below their portraits. So it's the top of those two below me, and then the top, the the one that's by um. Just to show you. Bibbing. Yeah, those. You yeah, see? these two. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> oh, damn it! Okay, gonna do the hilt thing again. Okay. Uh. You think these guys can tank at least 8 points of damage. Do you want to, to do the first attack as normal? <laughs> because nah, I, that's okay. You, you would have I don't to have deal, a risk doing all that. Yeah, you would have to deal uh, 14 points of damage in a single hit to kill him. These guys can't kill us anyway. I mean, they can't hit us, so... <laughs> we're in nah, I'll just do the hilt thing. I'll just do the hilt thing. Okay, perfect. So minus 5. Oh my god, good thing. Wow, Jesus. He's <laughs> trying to get to kill these people. Yeah, okay. Can we just say he's knocked out or you want me to roll? <laughs> Show it. Yeah, yeah, why the hell not? Yeah, actually roll, because there, if you roll two, two ones on the on the damage die... <clears throat> that is only one of the die. Okay, perfect. He's down. Next attack. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move and uh, get the guy behind him. Um, what? Go ahead. Can... With the hilt thing. Yeah, it'd be 11. 11 uh, is enough to hit this guy. 
<laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah, if you did that six damage with lethality, you would have killed them. If you still have movement and you ha still have one attack, right? 15. Yeah, with the offhand. Yeah, you have 30 feet, so you can still try and finish off the last one. Okie dokie. Sorry, is it my turn? No, not yet. Okay. I okay. distracted again. Roll for damage. Six. Okay. You did finish off the last of the uh, noble men and women that were clearly under some sort of enchantment they were not acting like them like themselves either the 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 alcohol alcoholic drink that they were given or maybe there are some spellcaster you even uh, remember someone saying that <coughs> vampires like labri or the butler are capable of charming people beyond recognition but that being said, Cedric, you are the next one to go. Roll for me a perception check. Right where you are. Roll the perception? Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> you are too slow to perceive that there is someone right behind you. Someone you have met before, damp hair. But this Big time, surprise. <laughs> as soon knew we should have killed her. Yeah, as soon as she appears, she says, mm, "These are the sacrifices." I don't know why you did that to them, but mm, they would serve. They would suffice, right? And then she turns back, and the fog clears. And you can see another crowd, but this time of fish people. Like Yeah, Bibic, fish people. Yeah, like Bibic and Bjorn like to say. You see a throng of fish folk. Guys, I think we're sh uh, running short on time. And there is another huge fight ahead of us. So that's where we're going to end for tonight. I hope you guys liked today's session. And I'm sorry, I wish I could have spent, uh, I could spend more time here chit-chatting.